Hi guys, we're back again. It's Tori and Coach KJ, and we're talking about the 2022 election, and we're talking about just get out the vote. Get mm -hmm. out the vote. So today is October 19th. Tomorrow is extremely important because it's the first day of early voting, and it's Kelly's birthday. <laughs> That's it. It's my birthday. So we're here talking. We're here to talk about my birthday. No, I'm just kidding. We're here to talk about voting. And um, the key thing, one of the things that I wanted to mention is sometimes we vote, you know, at the top of the ballot, check, and then leave, and I'm good, right? And if there are multiple candidates on the ballot, and you're only voting at the top of the ballot, you're not getting 100% of what's owed to you. You know, I give you an example. If you have you ever gone to McDonald's, right? And ordered the Big Mac, it said, uh, when they go give you your sandwich, you said, No, I just want the lettuce and the cheese. <laughs> if you go to McDonald's and you order the Big Mac and you paid for the Big Mac and you just get the lettuce and the cheese, that's the same thing as just voting voting for one or two candidates on the ballot. You want everything that's owed to you. And um, did you like that? Did you like that little thing? Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> uh, um, and so one of the races that's really important to me is the school board race. Do you hear mm -hmm. much talk about that when you're out talking to at meetings, Tori? Yeah. So to be quite honest, uh, we, you know, our conversation usually focuses on those NC House, uh, you know, judges, Congress, Senate races, um, and it usually stops there. But but your board, uh, the the school board is important uh, because those school board sex, uh, you know, achievement standards, right? They they handle hearings, they review uh, the budgets, and so it's important for uh, you to vote for your school board members, especially when you're worried about how your kid is doing especially when after the pandemic right kids need laptops we've seen the the importance of schools providing students with tablets laptops and having budgets for these things right your school board affects these things so so that's why you need to vote for your school board you need to be informed and you need to go to meetings not only school board meetings but city council meetings uh, so you can be informed especially when you have time and it's also crucial because Mecklenburg just published their third grade EOG scores. Mm. Approximately 15% of students passed the reading scores and less than 10% of African-Americans passed the third grade EOG. In Decatur, Illinois, there was just a Wall Street Journal article about how approximately 2% of mm -hmm. African-Americans passed the third grade EOG scores this year. It is crucial. It is vital that these kids get the supports they need. Um, when you go back, I just want to touch back really quickly on the U.S. Senate race. One of the things that Sherry Beasley is, is supporting is fully funding the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act. We know that sometimes kids are not able to perform on test or do well in class because there can be situational, environmental, temporary stressors, and then there can also be long-term stressors. But without the proper testing, without the proper funding to do the proper testing, sometimes kids are lumped into one category. And what we see is that continuous downward spiraling effect. So one, yes, we do need to vote for the U.S. Senators and we need to vote for the U.S. Congress to make sure that we get items such as the IDEA, uh, Individuals with Disabilities Act fully funded. Right now, just to give you an example, I was talking about the 2% in Decatur, Illinois and the 10% in Charlotte, but guess what? If we don't equip these kids, if we don't put the right school boards in place to equip these kids while they're in school, what's gonna happen after school? Right now, right here today, 85% of individuals with autism are unemployed. 85%.
Wouldn't you rather have them get the skill set that they need to do, to learn how to follow directions, to learn how to get a job, maintain a job, and also have versatile skills. So they're not just, you know, doing one particular item, but they have multiple options with regards to employment. Um, so yeah, making sure that our kids get the supports that they need, uh, whether they're red, white, black, blue, yellow, green, purple, orange, navy blue, sky blue, in complexion, like that. We want to make sure that kids get the testing that they need, yeah. they get the resources that they need, and that the yeah. school board members that are going mm -hmm. to allocate them properly. You know, because if you have a school board member who's allocating the funds to something that's not going to positively and sustainably infect students, then we've just failed one, possibly two generations because these kids are eventually going to be parents. So your vote today impacts two generations. Yeah. You paid for this. You paid yeah. for this. You are you are over 18. You're able to vote. It is yours. Mm -hmm. Don't walk away with the lettuce and the cheese when you paid for a Big Mac. Yeah, that's good. That's good. You like that? That's my quote. <laughs> Don't you take that, Tori. Don't you take it unless if you put my name on it. <laughs> But uh, yeah. Tori, is there anything else that you would like to add? This is the last one, not the last one, Tori. You're not leaving me. But this is the last series that we're going to talk about. Just getting out the vote. Yeah, and and I'm only, I'm, I'm saying this because I went to a meeting yesterday where uh, there was a representative from the uh, city of Charlotte. He was a budget director, strategic uh, planning, I think, director, and he went over the budget. And across the county, the city of Charlotte, uh, and there was one more entity that he stated, there's $6 billion uh, across Charlotte to allocate for funding, right? That's for infrastructure, uh, that's for education, so forth and so on. And so what happens is those resources are rapidly allocated. And sometimes if we don't advocate properly and we don't vote properly, those resources Right, are not allocated to important communities, marginalized communities, right? Uh, especially in rural areas. So, so it's important to vote because when we talk about funding, uh, we need funding, especially in rural areas, especially in, 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 in schools that are Title I who may need more funding, we need those funds. So it's, in, it's important for not only for you to vote, but encourage your family members to vote. Hold people accountable to vote uh, because that's how we succeed in, in voting for people who will support our interests. Right. Vote down ballot. Remember, vote down ballot. Don't walk away with no lettuce and cheese. If I walk around <laughs> seeing people vote with lettuce and cheese, I'm going to know you didn't vote down ballot. So make sure mm -hmm. you vote down ballot because we need you. The next yeah. generation needs you and the generation after that needs you. You have the power. Thank you.